It's a school holiday, so Kitty and I have come to Chesson World of Adventures for a day of queuing. We've had a great time so far. Uh, we've queued to get into the car park for about half an hour. About 10 minutes queue for a place in the car park. About 15 minutes to pick up the tickets. We're already booked. If you're into queuing, get yourself down here. You will live like a king. Enjoy it. What was your favourite queue? Kitty, you've been queuing for 55 minutes for this ride. Do you think it's going to be worth it? No. Me neither. Let's find out. What do you think, Kit? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that was totally worth it. I'll take it my comments back. We're queuing for Tiger River now, which is my favourite type of thing, a log flume. Very excited by this. Good 90 minute queue coming up ahead, I think. Um, it's a very scenic queue, you get a lot of nice views around, so I'm excited about it. This is Kitty's first log flume. Uh, I'm not going to film the whole thing, so I'm to enjoy it. Uh, but it's been over an hour and a half queuing, so hopefully it's going to be good. Are you excited, Kitch? Mm, sort of. A bit nervous. Fun or not fun? Fun! What happens if I want to get off when I'm halfway through it? Uh, well, you don't want to get off because you'll be going down a slope. <laughs> no, like right now, right here. Right now, I don't think you can get off, darling. Aww. Afraid not. Scary, <laughs> scary, scary! Scary! I'm shutting my eyes for this one! <laughs> Although I said they wasn't, I'm still doing it. Please keep arms and legs inside the boat at all times. Okay. Please keep arms and legs inside. Here we go. <laughs> I like it. You like it? Have I got a new friend for log flumes? <laughs> Yay! What was that from? I don't know if it was good though. Hello. We're back now. It's good Chessington. I like it. I like a good theme park. It's a bit of a shame about the queues, but you know, Easter, I get it. But I'll go another time. I bought an annual pass because quite a lot of the time when I'm filming golf stuff with tubes, uh, it's Leatherhead Golf Club, which is just around the corner from Chessington. So I can figure I can go there. I can do a few hours of filming, a bit of work, and then just head down on my own to the log flume for a couple of hours when all the kids are at school. Speaking of tubes, he's coming around in a bit. We're gonna uh, do a bit of filming. Gonna start something we planned to do on the channel quite a while ago before Vlogtober messed everything up. And the plan was to release two videos a week. So what I'm gonna try and do is every Tuesday around five o'clock is release a weekly vlog type thing, a traditional thing. And then on Thursdays, I'm gonna try and do a different thing, maybe a little series of things. And we're gonna do uh, one of those now. So I need to go and get set up. I always like to make sure Peter's had enough to eat when he comes round, so I'm going to make him a sausage sandwich for when he arrives, so that he doesn't get all hungry or have rumbly tummy when we're filming. So two sausage sandwiches, four chipolatas per sandwich. That'd be great. About 190 degrees there for about 12 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 
It won't be 12 minutes, it'll be longer, but I want to turn them. I know when to put the sausages on because I've got a little stalker app thing there, you see, it's called Find Friends, some of you might have it on an iPhone. And I can tell where Tubes is at all times. I made him put it on his phone, he didn't really want it. But quite a lot of the time he says he's going to be somewhere he's not there quite on time. So he's on the motorway now, he's probably about 15 minutes away, so I should have his sausage sandwich ready for when he turns up. If anyone wants to know where he is at any point, by the way, just tweet me at Robbie Knox. Just ask me where Tubes is. Um, I won't give you his address, but I'll tell you whether he's at home or whether he's out. It could be like your personal Tubes tracking service. So just, yeah, tweet me, let me know, at Robbie Knox. Just making your sausage sandwich, Peter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Robbie Knox has the nicest sausage sandwiches ever. They're Scottish sausage sandwiches. These aren't, these are just normal ones. Oh. I'm going home then. Right, Peter, because we didn't have enough bread, one of them is an end bit, but I'm happy to have the end bits. You can oh, find I like the end bit. End, end bit's the fav my favourite. Is it? Especially when you toast it. I um, haven't toasted it, but you can have the end bit anyway if you want. Yeah, amazing. All right. What sauce do you normally go for on a sausage sandwich? Um, I vary, to be honest, but um, today I'm going to go for uh, tomato. Okay, I'm going to go for brown. Okay. What I normally do is I do a little bit of sauce. I'm going to cut down the middle, so there's sauce on each half. Yeah. Then I'll cut it. I'm going to show you that now. This is like Simon Rimmer and Tim Lovejoy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can get a cookbook. <laughs> but then I'll put an extra bit of sauce on the side. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't understand that. Because I like to dip. Yeah, but you've already got it in there. But not always. But yeah, but the crust here won't have any in, so I can just go like this and go. Yeah, that's me. Dip. That's me. Peter's the uh, latest person to confirm his uh, taking part in the potato competition. Yep. In fact, you're probably the first person as well because you were there when we announced it as well, yep. weren't we? So I've got um, I've got two potatoes for you. What do you think of these? They look a bit mouldy. They're not. They're just they're they're ready. They're sea potatoes. They're ready. They're already sprouting for you. Done the hard work for you. you see okay. Mini potatoes starting there. Yeah. So what's this um, thing here then? This is a seed potato. Okay. So all it is is a potato that's been specially screened for disease and stuff. So it's not. You don't want diseased potatoes. No, diseased spuds. No. Uh, so I've got two of them because I think we can fit two of them. Yeah. Put a little um, jute bag there from a garden centre. What we do is we're going to fill it up with compost. Yep. Chuck a little bit of fertiliser in as well, maybe. Yeah. Then put your two potatoes in. One there, one there. Happy Be days. Easy as that. Yeah. Ready to take okay. it back in your car. Okay. Um, there's other potatoes if you want inside to choose from, but I thought you might like those no, two. No, I like those two. They're, They're nice, nice aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so, first of all, Peter. Yeah. Would you like to put some compost in the bag? Yeah. You can just tip it in if you want, or you can use a trowel. How much compost do you put in? Well, you want to fill it to probably to about there. Oh, well, so lots of compost. Quite a lot in. of compost, yeah. So you might want to tip the bag up and just tip it in, might be easier. Yeah, okay. Up to you. Yeah. It's like got a little hatch there when you want to inspect your potatoes at a later date. Have a look, a little shake around. So, yeah, that's a nice piece. That's pretty good there. Yeah. And now, what you want to do is you want to get your two potatoes. Yeah. You want to plant them. Well, actually, let's put a little bit of, should we put a little bit of fertiliser yeah, in to mix it up. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in, that seems about right. <laughs> <coughs> we'll just give it a little bit of a stir. Yeah. Well, today we've made sausage sandwiches and now we're making potatoes. Yeah, so there's a leg of lamb in there, but you're not eating it, are you? Yeah. Um, so those go, I'll probably put one over this side and one over the other side. Okay. Just on top what, there, yeah, in, with the things. In, in. Just, just on top, nice, it's going to put more on top. We're going to okay. put more soil on top. Lovely. Let's give those things. And then we want to just cover them up a couple of inches higher, the rest, of the, probably the rest of this. So should we just... Can put the whole bag in there? Oh, quite a bit in there, yeah. There we go. And we'll just flatten that out for you. Yeah. I'm not going to water it now because it's going in your car. Yeah. I'm going to get them. And there's a little hatch there, so later on, yeah. you'll be able to open up your hatch to get your potatoes out. But they won't be there yet. They've what got you to grow. My little hatch. Get around here. This thing. Yeah. Or velcro. So when it's potato harvesting time, you just open it up and get the potatoes out the bottom. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Okay. Thanks for coming around. No worries. Thanks for having me. Right, see you later. Enjoy see your ya. potatoes. See you later, potato crew.